Hey, welcome back to Plug and Play EV. I'm Steve, and today you join me at what may possibly be the most expensive Electrify America station in the country. Uh, why? Let's take a look at Electrify America, pricing by location, and where we are. So not a super exciting location, nothing particularly new here in terms of uh, equipment or things we haven't seen before. Burlington Mall being a fairly regular stop of ours for charging tests and uh, over the years winter tests, stuff like that. But uh, this is brand new. Uh, previously this had been a per minute state. Uh, which has uh, changed more recently where we've gone to kilowatt hour, but it had been the uh, standard pricing, which was the uh, 48 cents per kilowatt hour on the pass pricing, which is the just regular turn up and charge price. And then uh, I think it was 36 cents per kilowatt hour at the pass plus plan, which is the plan that uh, you get on for seven dollars a month and it brings down your rate but what's also new is uh, this the 40 cents per minute after 10 minute grace period idle fee so we've been watching these and we actually talked about it did a whole live stream back in august when they were supposed to introduce these and then subsequently were informed by electrify america that this was going to be a phased rollout and uh, not everything would be introduced right away well today we've got a few of these uh, come in uh, some other of these locations, I think this one in Arlington is still the same, uh, the 48 cents per kilowatt hour, no idle fees. And Sorgus is actually at 56 cents per kilowatt hour, still no idle fee, but that is a higher rate per kilowatt hour. So you're starting to see a little bit of this uh, different pricing across the board. Some still at this old 48 cents per kilowatt hour and on the regular pass pricing. But this is about as expensive as I've seen, possibly anywhere actually, not just Electrify America certainly, but uh, 64 cents per kilowatt hour kind of matches the uh, pricing that I've seen on the Apple Green electric stations that have gone in along the New York Thruway and there obviously you're talking about premium location, uh, toll road, right off the interstate, easy on, easy off, that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, you kind of expect a little bit of a premium there, but this is just a regular old mall. Uh, certainly, you know, one of the higher end malls, but uh, you can see it over there in the distance. Uh, I think I've got a stall that I can use, so it should be fine. Um, these have actually started to get really busy in the daytime, so I saw this at lunchtime today, but just wouldn't want to come down here at that point because it's an absolute zoo. But uh, at night, obviously, this clears out, so be interesting to head over, take a look. And uh, we're on the, the free plan, the complimentary, for three years with uh, our pre-reservation Hyundai Ionic 5. Other people on the two-year plan, there's various levels that it wouldn't affect some people. But uh, this is going to be a shock to people who are used to paying that kind of lower um, 48 cents, somebody plugging in not thinking about it is going to get a bit of sticker shock on this I'm sure so watch those plug share listings and we'll go over and take a quick look at what the pricing looks like when we get to the screen Okay, so even at a crazy time of night, it's still busy The two available here, one of them is the L2 plug and the uh, other one is the old remaining BTC power station it does list it at 350 kilowatts. It doesn't really matter. We're going to be on a cold pack here. It's close to 32 degrees, so we're pretty chilly. And I haven't bothered to warm it up, but let's see what it does. Okay, so that's all whirring up. It should be pretty anemic here. Maybe 65, 70 because of the cold pack. This will all be limited to the Ionic 5. So not really a big deal. Just uh, really here to talk about the pricing there and what it looks like in comparison to other places. Is this the most expensive charge in the United States on the Electrify America network? Let's take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the stations around here. We looked at uh, Arlington, 48 cents per kilowatt hour. The only other one that I could find kind of close by that was a different price was Sorgus, 
which is just across the way here, about five, ten miles away. 56 cents per kilowatt hour it doesn't actually list an idle fee in Sorgus. So, so far, Burlington's the only one that I've found that lists an idle fee. Arlington and Tewkesbury are still the same as they were before, 48 cents on the pass plan. Same in Medfield, same in Foxborough. So maybe we need to go further afield. It did look up in New Hampshire, which has recently changed as well to per kilowatt hour pricing. Nothing up there seems to be changed to a different location price. Uh, we've got over to Auburn, still 48 cents. Go all the way out to Chicopee, the first Electrify America site. That's still 48 cents per kilowatt hour. So I'm not seeing too much changing around the rest of the state. Maybe look down around New York City. It's trying to figure out the kind of logic of why some of these sites would have been made more expensive, whereas others stay the same. Maybe they just haven't got around to them yet. Everything I'm looking at here around New York City, New Jersey, all has the same pricing. Not seeing any idle fees. There we go, there's one. So Green Acres Mall, that is one of the first one that was actually upgraded with uh, the Gen 4 sites. And we did a video down there after Electrify Expo in New York in 2022. That one actually is the same price as here. So 64 cents per kilowatt hour and 40 cents a minute after 10 minutes grace period. So we are perhaps not the most expensive, but maybe the most, we may be tied for the most expensive. So there's two that are at now 64 cents per kilowatt hour. These are the ones to watch the plug share listings of because there's gonna be some people moaning over the weeks and months ahead as they start to figure out that their charge that they thought was maybe 48 cents a kilowatt hour is now significantly more expensive. Does say less than one minute remaining where I've only just shut it off. So we can see if it starts charging me anything, I guess. Okay, 41 cents taken for the team on a charge that would have otherwise been vastly, vastly more expensive. And uh, confirming the idle fees are back and price hikes are in place. So brave new world and watch your charges because they could be spiking those prices near you anytime soon.